Hi everybody, it's me Slim and I am here with a quick hair review for you guys. I received this hair from Desir Hair. I will put their links and stuff in my bio. This is the way that I received the hair. Um, they sent me three bundles. I have a 20 inch, an 18 inch, and a 16 inch. So what I'm going to do is basically dye this hair the way that I always wear my hair. Um, and let you guys know how I like it, um, if it takes to dye well, how it is after I dye it. Um, a lot of hair breaks and it doesn't really take the dyeing process too well, which I freaking hate. Um, I hate when I buy hair and I can't dye it the way that I like to because it has been dyed or processed and they're telling me that it hasn't been because that basically leads to a whole bunch of breakage. So I'm going to basically take this hair down to the way that you see the hair that I have in my hair now. And I'm going to do that today with a couple of products. I am going to be using the BW2. Normally I use Quick Blue but they didn't have any quick blue at this px that i'm at um i'm on an army base so i'm gonna use this and then i have this um the pure white cream developer and i have 30 volume and then i also have this kaleidoscope colors and i have the purple one and this one is for blonde colored hairs and it's basically like a bleach that is supposed to lighten up to four levels and it has like it's purple so it's supposed to add cool tones we'll see how that helps and then when i am done with that i am going to go over it with box dye like i normally do and i have this um Revlon beautiful color color silk dye and I have it in number five which is an ultra light ash blonde that's how I normally do my colors and for these brown tones that you guys see I usually get that with the L'Oreal high color in the ash blonde I have another video um that I did a long time ago where I was dyeing my hair from scratch but the hair was not in my hair um and I'm basically going to be doing the same thing with this hair. And you guys will see the finished products. Stay tuned. So I have my bundles laid out from shortest to longest. And I'm going to take my color developer and my highlight color. I'm going to apply that to the middle of the hair. And I'm going to try to make it so that it lines up when it is in my hair, if that makes sense. Um, the ombre. Make sure that I am saturating it fully on each side and that every hair is colored because I don't want like random black parts in it. That's not good. So once I have the front and the back covered and completely saturated, I'm going to take my color developer and my BW2 and I'm applying that to the ends of my hair. Once again, making sure that I cover everything and that I get front to back and I am doing this with my fingers because I like to make sure that it's thoroughly blended because I don't like harsh color lines in my ombre. That is my pet peeve. Okay, so I am back. It has been another 10 minutes and I feel like the color is pretty good so I am going to take this hair and rinse it out as you can see I've got kind of a little fade going on so far I'm gonna take this wash it dry it and then I'm gonna come back for the second part which is a 10 minute process with the kaleidoscope colors just to take down any brassiness going on in my brown colors I'll be back hey guys I'm back um so this is the hair um as you can see it is dyed um, for the most part and this it's about I don't know if you can see it on camera it's about the color of my skin now so it's kind of like a light brown and it's a little darker up here under normal circumstances I would dry the hair before I continue to dye it but because I'm doing a double process I don't want to do anything to overwhelm the hair 
And next I'm going to go with this Kaleidoscope Colors. This I'm supposed to leave on for 10 minutes maximum. And I'm going to make sure that I stick to that because I'm also going to be following up with the box dye to get the color the way that I want it. So this I'm just going to mix up. You use one part this and two parts of the color developer. Similar to the first dyeing process, I'm just going to take this, but I am taking this and I'm covering the whole entire thing up to the black because I want to make sure that there's no brassiness in this whatsoever, although I'm kind of skeptical about whether this is really going to help. Like a whole lot of purple. So I'm going to go and I'm going to rinse this out and I am going to dry the hair this time and then I'm going to finish up with my last step, which is going to be this box dye. I'll be back. Hey guys, so I'm back. I got the hair to about 80% dry. Um, I didn't want to dry it the whole way because I know I'm about to dye it again. And the hair looks great. I don't know if you guys can see the variations of the tone. Um, the lighting in here is pretty bad, but it fades from black to a dark brown to a lighter brown, and then it's like, I don't know, kind of a brassy blonde towards the bottom. And the hair is actually still soft. Um, there's been no shedding so far, and that's really good. Um, the hair was definitely virgin. It didn't have any color added to it or anything, which was good because if it had... Uh, it would not have survived all of that bleaching and stuff that I did, which is really good, and I'm really satisfied with it so far. Um, some people don't like to take their hair as light as I take mine and might want to keep it this way. Um, for comparison, if you look at my hair, it's basically to like the color that's in here, like one of the browns. I don't know if you guys are seeing this on camera, but I want to take it blonder, so I'm going to do that for you guys now, and I'm going to do that with this color silk. Okay, so using a box dye is pretty easy. Some people don't like to do this step. They would prefer to just leave the hair as is. Um, the reason why I don't like to leave it that way is because I don't like for my browns or my blondes to be brassy. And a lot of toners, like I've tried Manic Panics toners, I've done the Wella toners that you can find at um, Ricky's and probably Sally's Beauty Supplies, but I just find that it's easier for me to get the color that I want when I just put a box dye over it. A lot of times, the way that they're formulated, they already have toners and such in them, which is good for me because I am lazy and also I have to dye my hair a whole lot um, just to keep the color the way that I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to most of the hair. I'm going to take it up um, pretty high on this hair because I want to cover everything. Um, this isn't going to necessarily make the colors at the top any lighter. It's just going to even out the tones and make it less brassy and less orange. And the reason for doing this, like I said, is so that the color is less brassy, more blonde and true brown, and the fade is good. Because the rest of the hair hasn't been bleached, it's not gonna really take it down more than like one level. I'm making sure that the color is not just, you know, in a straight line and that it's blended well, because once again, I don't like any harsh lines in my hair color. That is probably my pet peeve and the number one problem that I have with a lot of ombres that I see on the streets, even when they're done by a professional, it's just like black, brown, blonde. And then, I don't know, I just don't like that. It's too harsh. I want it to be, I want it to look like I was freaking sitting outside with lemon in my hair for like five years and then it just ended up like this. So I am just about done with this, so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this up and let it sit for 30 minutes. I'll be back. Hey, I'm back. So this is where it's sitting with this dye on it for probably about, I don't know, 30 minutes. And I am going to check it now. 
Let me make sure that you guys can see this. Um, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty blonde. And I'll probably let it sit for, I don't know, maybe 10 more minutes. And then I'm going to rinse this out and condition it really well. And I'm going to dry it for you. And I'll show you guys the final result. I'll probably put it into some clips and install it into my hair. I can tell already that I'm probably going to want to add probably another bundle or two. I typically like for my hair to be really, really big, but I really like um, how well this hair is taking dye. That's like my number one concern when I'm buying hair. So, so far, I'm very, very happy. Okay, I'm back. I have washed and dried this Desir hair. I love the way that the color turned out. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see it well. I blow dried it to about 90% and then I just let it air dry the rest of the way. So, um, it's pretty much straight for the most part. It's soft. Um, it didn't really shed. Um, I'm going to detangle it, flat iron it, make it into clips, and install it into my hair. Um, I'm not sure how well the color variations are showing up on camera, but it turned out pretty much the way that I want it to be. So I'm really, really happy with the way that it looks so far. Um, I'll be back with it installed in my hair so that you guys can see what it looks like and I'll be back hey everybody I am back with um, the final product after washing and dyeing my Desir Cambodian hair this is once again three bundles I have a 20 inch a 18 inch and a 16 inch um, I like how it turned out it took the dye well it's not tangled it hasn't shedded um, and I did all of that dyeing and stuff last night so um, if anything, I would say I'd probably add another bundle, maybe another 20 inch so that the ends are fuller. But other than that, I'm very satisfied with it. I haven't curled it or anything yet. You guys probably know already I usually don't wear my hair straight, but I usually do wear straight hair and I just like to curl it myself as opposed to having curly hair and using a wand or something on it. So yeah, if you guys... Um, Stay tuned with my channel. You'll see how this hair holds up after a couple months of wear. I will probably take it a little bit blonder. I'm not sure if you guys can see how the color is in this terrible hotel room lighting, but it looks very, very good. Um, really dark at the roots, a couple different brown tones in the middle, and then towards the bottom, it gets blonde. Um, I'm going to take it probably to platinum, but I'm not going to do that for a couple weeks because I don't want to overwhelm the hair. And I just want to, you know, make sure that it's properly conditioned and such. Because even though this seems to be very, very good quality hair, I don't want to do anything to make it, you know, bad and dry. Because nobody wants to dry nappy hair. So, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed my video. Make sure that you guys leave me any comments or questions that you guys might have below. And, um... That's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.